Hello, good morning, and happy Monday. And uh, it's good to start our week again, uh, working in spending time with, with God, okay? By uh, spending time to uh, listen to His Word and be reminded of His uh, Word. And at the same time, uh, challenging our lives to continue to to worship God and to serve God uh, through our work and uh, hope you are doing well and it, only two weeks to go for this year and a few days to go before Christmas and hope you are uh, physically fit ready for another week of work another week of challenges so hope you are also uh, uh, having that excitement to go to work today okay are you still excited let's finish well so i think most of us uh, are excited to see another year next year 2021 but uh, i encourage you to finish well the remaining uh, think two weeks uh, of this year uh, let's uh, start well and let's end well this year so we are privileged to study again God's word this morning our topic is about uh, the heavenly love song so we'll be studying a, a song in Revelation chapter 5 and Revelation chapter 5 is about uh, what will happen in heaven you know, probably you're wondering, okay, after I die, then I'll go to heaven. And if I'll be there, what will be my life? How will I live? Okay, what will be my main activities? So today, let's talk about worshiping God in heaven. This passage in Revelation 5 is about our ultimate no, destination, and that is heaven. And in heaven, we'll be spending time with God. In heaven, we'll be spending time worshiping God, praising God, okay, throughout for eternity. So let me read this uh, uh, chapter 5 and allow me to share some important uh, uh, biblical truth about uh, the love of God and how we can respond. What are the ways we can respond to God's great, great love to us? Verse 1, Then I saw the, in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll. But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or heaven or even look inside it. I wept and wept because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or look inside it. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not wept. See, the lion of the tribe tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed, is able to open the scroll in its seven seals. Then I saw a lamb, looking as if it had been slain, standing at the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. The lamb had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden boughs full of incense, which are the prayers of God's people. And they sang a new song, saying, again, this is the, the song, a love song in heaven. 
you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals because you were slain. And with your blood, you purchased God, person from every tribe, every language, people, and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. And a loud voice, they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth, under the earth and on the sea, and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. Wow. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you, Lord, for today that we can come into your presence. Lord, um, thank you for uh, you have died at the cross to pay for our sins. Thank you for your blood that was poured out at the cross so that our sins will be forgiven. Thank you for you sacrifice your body so that we can be Save, O oh Lord. And today, let us remind ourselves about your greatest love, your greatest kind of, or acts of kindness uh, by, by sending your Son, O oh Lord, to die for us at the cross so that we, we can experience salvation, we can experience your blessing in our lives. Lord, today, remind us as well to do some simple acts of kindness to others to show what you have done, Lord, in our lives. Lord, again, thank you for uh, this time together. This pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, again, let's remind ourselves of the love of God by showing simple kind, acts of kindness to other people. But let's talk about, again, what will happen in heaven. So, Revelation is a picture. It's a, it's a vision, okay? Of, of John, no? as, he, uh, as he write the, the revelation, he has this vision about what will happen in the future in heaven. So heaven is a place, okay, okay, where we can enjoy the presence of God, okay? So don't forget, okay, that heaven is not, it's not, it's not a place uh, for you and me to, you know, to just relax and to just, you know, uh, stay away from uh, all the problems and be comfortable, okay? So many people want to go to heaven because in heaven, you know, there's no crying, there's no problem, there's no sin, there's, uh, you know, everything is good and comfortable and, you know, but it's not just about that. Heaven is is about the presence of God. Uh, let me ask you, will you go to heaven if God is not there? No, right? Why? Because heaven is about God's presence. You want to go there. You want to be in heaven because you want to be with God. It's not just about, you know, you, you want to escape the problems of this world. You want, you know, to experience a good life. You want to live in a mansion uh, with a... With a as in the street of goals, okay? You want you don't want you don't only want uh, there to you know to be feel comfortable and safe. Heaven is about the presence of God, okay? Heaven without the presence of God is not heaven at all. <laughs> so, um, I I believe no, uh, uh, and I'm excited to be with God in heaven because. For the rest of eternity, uh, in heaven, you will experience the presence of God. The greatest gift okay, that God has given us okay, is not heaven. It's about himself. Okay, Remember that. The greatest gift that God has given us is not, is not only that you will go to heaven. It's about you will spend the rest of eternity in the presence of God. God himself is the greatest gift that we can experience here on earth and in heaven. 
Now, let's talk about the, this greatest act of kindness. Okay? So, here in, in, in Revelation, the, 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 all the, 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 the creatures, all the elders, all the people from every tribe, every nation, every language, every uh, people group will be worshiping God. Okay? So, uh, I think one important activity in heaven is about worship. We exist to worship. Okay? God created us to worship God. Even from the garden, even you know, from the day of the beginning of the creation, the word, the word, the God created us so that we can worship Him. We can uh, worship through our work. We can worship through our life. And in heaven, it's a place where there is no, okay, uh, no, what's that? No hindrance. It will be an unlimited time of worship to God. Are you ready to worship God? Okay, so how do we worship God? So here, it's about how do how do you worship? All right, and this song, a new song. One way to worship God is to sing song. Okay, so when we go to church, we say, okay, I'll go to church to worship every Sunday. So what we do in the church, we sing song. Okay, so singing song for God is one way to worship Him, and the song talks about the about how worthy is our God. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seal because you were slain. Okay, remember? Because you were slain and with your blood, you purchased for God, person from every tribe, language, and people, and nation. So we worship God because of who, we is, who he is. We worship God because of what he does. We worship God because of his blessing in our life. We worship God because of his great kind or uh, act of kindness. And his act of kindness is about by is about being slain, being killed, being being murdered, no? At the cross by sinful men. His acts of kindness is giving himself to us, okay? By allowing himself to die at the cross by you know by um, allowing his blood to to be poured out so that we can our our life can be purchased our our we can experience salvation. No? And I like here that the the picture of from every tribe, every language, every people, every nation. Now God's plan is not just you and me to be saved. God's plan is also to save other people from different people groups, from different languages, from different tribes, different nations. That's why he wants us no, to share this good news to other people. And that is his plan. That's part of his plan. Not only he died for you and me, but also he died for those other people groups uh, in other nations. Okay? So that's the the, 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 the content of this uh, song. You have made him, you have made, okay, the second part is, is not only about uh, his character, but it's also about his kingdom, okay? You have made them to be a kingdom and the priests to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. Wow! So, so God made a kingdom and he is the king and we are his subject, we are his people. And what our what 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 is our main role is is to serve God, to be a priest, to be a representative before God, to to be a mediator before God, okay, for others, and He will allow us to reign on the earth. Now Satan is reigning on this earth, but there will be a time in the future that He will reign, and we will reign, and He will be the the true King. For, for in this in this kingdom okay so your role is to serve God uh, by serving his kingdom by serving him as our king and by helping and doing our part you know, that Christ will reign on this earth wow so are you excited for that coming day that that Jesus will be you know will be physically reigning on this earth and also uh, you will be serving him, okay? 
And in heaven, that will be our main uh, activity, is to serve God. Okay? Worshiping God, serving God. Wow. And another part here, no? Worthy, no? Is the Lamb was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Wow. It's about a song that reminds us of, of God's worthiness. Is worthy to receive our praise, our honor, our thanksgiving, all the glory. Now, that's why um, we need to learn to thank the Lord, to give thanks to Him, to bring back all the things that He has done, to reflect all the goodness back to Him. So that's that's that is worship. Now, worship is about thanking God, praising Him. Giving him the all, all the glory, giving him all the honor no, that he deserves in our life. So, are you thankful? Are you thankful that you are part of God's kingdom? Are you thankful that God died, uh, allowed His Son to die at the cross, so that you can you will be saved? Are you thankful that you have so many blessings right now? Are you thankful that you know that we can celebrate Christmas in the midst of pandemic? Are you thankful that you still have work? Are you thankful that you have your, you, you still have your family? You're still alive. You're still breathing. Let's praise. Let's give thanks to God today. Huh? And the last part is to Him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be praise and glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. So, uh, our lives. Not only should sing praises and give uh, things to God, but our life should be a declaration of you know all the goodness of God in 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 us and through us. So in response, okay, I would like us to challenge you this morning. Because of the greatest act of kindness of God in our lives by giving His Son to us, by dying at the cross, allowing His blood to to, to to be poured out so that we can be cleansed and be saved. What is the best way to show our thankfulness to God? What is the best way to remind ourselves of the goodness of God? One way is do simple acts of kindness to others. Show the love of God to others by Doing a simple acts of kindness. Huh? By showing acts of love, by doing acts of love to help others. As a priest, as a cold, as a saved, as a believer, as a follower of Jesus, I think the best way to thank God, to praise God, to honor Him in our life is to show, is to do, is to make is to find ways to you know help others through our simple acts of kindness or simple acts of love okay so how 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 we can do that by simply you know this this is a christmas season okay you can wrap a gift a grocery or a simple you know um Things that you can give to the poor. One way is, you know, uh, cook. You can cook. Okay? Not just for yourself, but cook for your neighbors. Okay? Or you can go to a very poor community in Tondo or somewhere else and serve the community. No? Uh, gather, organize things, and challenge your friend. Okay? Let's do simple acts of kindness. Or when you meet someone in the street, no? Find ways to remember God's, God's goodness in your life by showing acts of kindness to these people. In your, in, your, in your workplace, how can we do that simple acts of kindness? Forgive, okay? Learn to forgive. Forgive your, someone who hurt you. Probably your loved ones, probably your co-workers, probably your someone who hurt you so much. Show them the love of God by forgiving them. By you know allowing them uh, to to uh, to be forgiven, okay. 
So rejoice because the Lord has forgiven all our sins. And there are many ways no, to thank God. So as a company, we can serve God through our simple acts of kindness. So every time we do simple acts of kindness, well, we are reminded of the greatest acts of kindness of God in our life. And that's why we are still here on earth. So that more people from every tribe, every nation, every um, languages will know that God, that through Jesus Christ, okay, uh, we will know the gospel, they will know the good news, okay, and through our acts of kindness, people will uh, know God, will see God in our lives, and hope you will spend this Christmas season not just buying for yourself, but also giving for others, and let's share God's blessing starting today. God bless everyone. Hope you will have a great week uh, this starting today. Bye-bye.